this must be your unlucky day, mate. We're just about the worst people you could run into in these parts. And we're uh, horse archers, which is actually pretty bad for me. I have a kettle helmet. And you are nothing but walking money bags. Uh, right. Let's charge these guys. Uh, and hope that not all of them are horse archers, because then we're in trouble, for real. Here they come. One guy down. Wow. Somebody hit me with something. That must have hurt. Okay. Ah, that was close. Good for Antus, do your worst. This guy maybe. Ah, why did he lower his lance there? He has to catch them when they're not looking. More like that. Close, close, close. Both my guys are unhorsed. I don't know where Catherine is, if she's still in the battle or not. Nice. It's like ice hockey when they're not looking and they get tackled. Okay. <laughs> Hurts. This guy has got to go. Ah, oh, if I just followed him there. Could have had him. Well, my guys are still on their feet at least. You're mine. Oh, and he lowers the lance. Come on. Don't be like that. This guy. Not looking. When they're turned away, they're easy prey. Lay and knocked out. I'm not alone yet. Yeah, not so good following that guy. him. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even mean to strike that guy. Okay, now it's on. Get him, Ferentis. You're in trouble. We did it. We did it, Frentis. My tr trust worthy companion. Wow. He blocked a lot of arrows with his, with his shield there. Pretty nice. Actually went a lot better than I could have hoped for. Actually got all of them prisoners. Release one looter. Ooh, look at all those horses. 
<laughs> lame step horse. Okay. Maybe not the best. Uh, but I'm not complaining. Okay. Inventory full. Gonna get rid of my trusty step cap. Uh, inventory, inventory. There we go. Wow. Lots and lots of horses. Whew. Pretty good. Smirk leveled up, which means we're going to increase our strength. We're going to put one point into Iron Flesh, I guess. Rest in one handed and some crossbow. None of the others leveled up, okay. Fair enough. So let's make our way back to Dirim. with our walking money bags. Those farmers are being molested. Awesome. It's late at night and honest folk have abandoned the streets, so we're not gonna find the guildmaster, I think. Up. We can check for a ransom broker, I guess. Ransom broker it is. Awesome. I already know you. Four looters. And eleven Kurgit horsemen. Ninety-six denars apiece. One denar short of three thousand. Nice. So who's this merry fellow, Jeremus? Greetings, fellow traveler. Perhaps you can help me. How is that? I don't have a wig on me. I shall tell you, but know that it's a tale of gross iniquity. I warn you in advance, lest you are of a cleric temperament and so become incensed by the injustice done unto me that you yourself, that you do yourself a mischief. I rarely do myself a mischief. I am, by training, a natural philosopher, but condemned by the jealousy of the thick-headed doctors of my university to make my living as an itinerant surgeon. I was hired by a merchant of the city to cure his son, who fell into a coma after a fall from his balcony. I successfully trepanned the patient's skull to reduce the cranial swelling, but the family ignored my advice to treat the ensuing fever with a tincture of willow bark, and the boy died. The father, rather than reward me for my efforts, charged me with sorcery. Me, a philosopher of nature. Such is the ignorance and ingratitude of mankind, indeed. The lord of this castle is reluctant to place me under arrest, but I am anxious to move on elsewhere. Well, you could travel with us, but you'd have to be able to fight in our battle line. As I told you, I am a surgeon, not some silk-roamed university physician who's never touched a body. I can get my hands dirty, I'm sure. I have treated every variety of wound that can be inflicted by the hand of man. 
Before I was a surgeon, I was a student, so you may be sure that I've inflicted wounds as well as healed them. Yes, I know the students can... A battle is not the same thing as a tavern brawl, yes. Well, then welcome to our company, Doctor. We can always use a trained physician. Great, so our party is increasing. Uh, now we have a, an abundance of lame horses. This saddle horse is actually no longer lame. It was before, I'm pretty sure. So, seems like it helps. Battered round, round cavalry shield. Hmm. It's actually something I'm gonna use. Kurgit leather boots, no. Ragged nomad robe might be something. The good doctor needs. Long spiked club. Well, come to think of it, it would be a good idea to have a like a long range melee weapon. Does crushing damage. Iron Mace is very nice, but it's short, so can we get into the thick of it a bit, a bit too much? Let's sell these useless boots and the step cap there. And cracked spear, bent spear, no, cracked light lance. Actually, arms merchant. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that will have to do sway back to charger. I'm gonna keep these horses. Jeremus, here we go. Let me see your equipment. Pilgrim disguise. Interesting, so he's disguised as a pilgrim. It's not actually a pilgrim. Tattered nomad robe. Ragged robe. Oh, I guess this is a little bit better. Not a lot. Crude spiked helmet. There you go, sir. Have a battered round cavalry shield as well. And uh, help yourself to a stubborn sumter horse. Let me see your skills. <laughs> okay, so he's clearly going to be our physician. Uh, already has three, four, three in wound treatment, surgery, and first aid. That's pretty good. Catherine only has two in wound treatment and one in first aid so we're gonna, gonna change it up a bit here and take her into some other direction. Statistics. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's see your equipment actually. Nomad armor. Tattered nomad robe looks to be better. Boots. This cracked wooden shield. Let me suggest my old shield instead. Cracked plane heater shield or a cracked round cavalry shield. I don't know. Right. Let's sell off the rest of the stuff. a bit until we can find the guild master get out of the way peasant Remember where he is? Oh, there. There he is. So, good day, Sir Smirk. Well, it sounds like you were able to track down the bandits. Nice. 2000 experience. All my party members level up. Nice. And 1000 denos. Hmm. 1000 denos. We have a lot of denos now. Four thousand two hundred ninety-three dinars. Pretty good, I would say. Now to try to use these attribute points and skill points in a good way. So Frentis is definitely one of our better fighters. Might want to get some more skill points so we can his shield and his weapon mastery. Like that. Leon is also a fighter. But we we were actually getting tracking for him. Because there's not a lot we can do with his weapon skills right now. I'm gonna continue with that. I'm gonna add two more points to tracking. Like that. Katrin was our physician. But. Yes, we're gonna have to change it up a bit. Let's try getting some horse archery for her, actually. Some 
points and crossbow. Jerem as well. He was definitely the, the new physician. Already has a lot of skill, a lot of intelligence, but uh, you know what? More can't hurt. First A, regain 5% per skill level of hit points, so regain 15% of hit points after a battle. Surger is not so important. Let's give him two hand weapons then. Right, now let's see. I want to know where I can find a tournament. Sargoth, Praven and Barrier. Right. Well. What's closest? Praven is pretty far away. Not gonna make it in time for the tourney, I think, but we might make it a Sargoth, actually. Might make it there in time. Actually, I want to get a helmet for... Hmm. Leather warrior cap. So let's go to Sargoth. Why not? Traveling at good speed now. Now we can actually see uh, a bit more information about tracks. See our party size is five. See how old the track is and the uh, color of the track, I guess, shows some information. I don't know. Hopefully, we can make it in time for the tourney. Dusk. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so there's a feast, so probably we, we missed the tourney. Wow, look at all the jarls. Like every Nord jarl is here. That's pretty neat. So, well, let's join the feast. Uh, <laughs> shit. That's a lot of Jarls. Having lots of fun. Oh, wait, that's the king, actually. Cool. Let's talk to the king. King Ragnar, do I know you? My na name is a Smirk at your service, sir. I'm King Ragnar, the ruler of Kingdom of the Nords, and the Lord of Sargoth. Your fame runs before you. Perhaps it is time that you sought a liege worth, worthy of your valor. Indeed. I wish to welcome you to my hall on this auspicious occasion. Now, what is it? Hmm. Do you have any tasks for me? Uh. I have something you could help me with. An issue with a lawless villain known as Euskar Le Fair. He murdered one of my men and has been on the run from his judgment ever since. Okay, so one of those quests we failed miserably at last time. Uh, 
friends of the murdered man reckon that his assassin may have taken refuge with his kinsman at Quinn. You might be able to hunt him down and give him what he deserves. Claim the bounty for yourself. Then I will hunt him down and execute the law. Wow, so I get an immediate increase in... Good hunting. You know, this is a pretty good opportunity to take quests from all these Jarls. <laughs> Do I know you? My name is a Smirk. I'm Jarl Rijek. I know of your name. They say you are a most valiant warrior. I can only hope that your honor and mercy matches your valor. It does. Do you have any tasks for me? No. Well then, I'm not very interested in you. Let's try the next one. I know your name. Everybody knows my name. Okay, you probably know that I am the lord of the village of Fenada. However, it has been, it's been months since Fenada has delivered the taxes and rents due me as its rightful lord. Apparently the populace there has grown unruly lately and needs someone to go there and remind them of their obligations and to persuade them if they won't listen. If you go there and raise the taxes they owe me, I will grant you one-fifth of everything you collect. Yes, I can do that. A fair officer. Those peasants are foxy beasts. They will make every excuse not to pay me my rightful incomes. Do not let them fool you. Indeed not. I know how to handle peasants. Jarl Knuda, do I know you? Yes, I'm a most valiant warrior. Do you have any tasks? Hmm. No lord should have to admit this as Merc, but I was inspecting my soldiers the other day and there are men here who don't know which end of the sword to hold. It would be a tantamount to murder for me to lead them into combat in their current state. You are a warrior of renown, says Merc. Will you train some troops for me? I would be grateful to you. Hmm. How many men do you need? Hmm. If you can raise seven Nord veterans and bring them to me, that will probably be enough. Of course, sir. Give me seven fresh recruits and I'll train them to be Nord veterans, okay? Uh, the bad part about that deal is I have to run around with foot soldiers again. But okay. 100 dinars. You take enough weight off my shoulders, Smirk. I shall tell my sergeants to send you the recruits and attach them to your command. Yes. Jarl Farn. Your fame runs before you. Perhaps we shall test each other's valor in a tournament or on the battlefield. Do you have any tasks? No. Your beard is ugly. Uh, I know your name. It strikes fears and fear in men's hearts. Yes. Do you have any tasks? Well, some of the serfs working my fields in Fearishan have run away. The ungrateful swine. I let them plow my fields and rent my cottages and this is how they repay me. Yes, I know, the peasants. From what I've been hearing, they're running to Tur as far as, as fast as they can and have split up into three groups to try and avoid capture. I wanted to capture all three groups and fetch them back to Fearishan by whatever means necessary. I should really have them hanged for attempting to escape, but we need hands for the upcoming harvest, so I'll let them go off with a good beating. <laughs> you can count on me, sir. I will bring back the runaway serfs. Jarl Serdan. Jarl Serdan. Yes. I've heard of you. It's very good to finally make your acquaintance. Everybody's heard of me. No tasks. I'm disappointed. Jarl Eric, we meet again, says Merck. I don't remember meeting you, but... 
Do you have any tasks? No. Tasks. <laughs> Maybe now I'll take your banner and your cattle and your life. What? Do you have any tasks for me? The peace with the Serenade Sultanate ill suits me, says so Smirk. We've let those swine have their way for far too long. Now they get stronger with each passing and their arrogance knows no bounds. I say we must wage war on them before it's too late. Unfortunately, some of the bleeding hearts among our realm's lords are blocking a possible declaration of war. Witless cowards with no stomach for blood. Oh, you're right, sir, but what can we do? Ah, this good to hear someone who understands. As a matter of fact, there's something we can do, says Merck. Little bit of provocation. If one of our war parties managed to enter the territory and pillage one of their caravans or raided one of the villages and perhaps left behind a little token or two of the kingdom of Nords, they would have ample cause to declare war on us. And then, well, even the cowards among us must rise to defend themselves. So what do you say? Are you interested? Hmm. Raiding serenade villages and caravans. Why don't you do that yourself? Well, says Merck, some of the lords in our kingdom won't like the idea of someone inciting a war without their consent. They are already looking for an excuse to get at me, and if I did this, they could make me pay for it dearly. You, on the other hand, are young and well-liked and daring, so you might just get away with it. Well, might just. I don't like this. Find yourself someone else to take the blame for your schemes. Hmm. As you wish, says Merck. I thought you had some fire in you, but it seems I was wrong. Yes, indeed. Didn't even mention payment. Do I know you? Of course you do. Ah, yes, at last we meet. You sound like a good man to know. Let us speak together from time to time. Do you have any tasks? There is a small thing. My wife, Lady Hild, is due for a visit to her relative's attire. The visit has been postponed several times already with all the trouble on the roads, but this time she's adamant about going, so I want to at least make sure she's well guarded. I trust you well, Mr. Smirk, so I would be very grateful if you could escort her to Tyre and make sure she arrives safe and sound. You can count on me, sir. Lady Hild has joined the party, okay. Great, we're getting missions after mission. Jarl Iria. Do you have any tasks? No. But you surely have a task for me. Really? Really now? No tasks? I've heard of you. Well, I'm not one for bandying words, so if you have anything to say, out with it. Tasks. No. Okay. Fine. Fine. I have enough tasks. Uh, visit the tavern. It's completely empty. Marketplace. <laughs> Long hafted spiked mace. Pole arm swing. One hundred and forty reach. That's pretty good. This one looks nice, but it has... You can't have a shield. 140 reach, 94 speed rating. That sounds really good. Cannot be used on horseback that one. But this one can. I think that's exactly what we're looking for, actually. Let's take that. And this one can go to K. 
Catrin. This one can go to the monk. Two hundred eighty five for iron. It's a pretty good price. Let's sell the iron. Nice. Lady Hild, Katrin, I want to talk to you. Let me see your equipment. Enjoy your helmet, Katrin. Okay, Nord Recruits, seven. So I have to get seven Nord Recruits to veteran status. Let's check our notes here. Raise seven Nord Veterans. Bring them to Jarl Knudar. 120 days. Collect taxes from Fenada, 50 days. Hunt down Bandit, 30 days. Bring back Runaway Serfs. All three groups are heading toward Tyre. Well, what a coincidence. We're also heading toward Tyre with Lady Hild. Great. But I want to make sure that there's no tourney in the morning. So let's actually... And indeed, there is a tournament. So let's let's join the tournament. Three teams of two fighters each in this. And of course it's like uh, my guys and the king and all the jarls. It's gonna be a who's who of tournament fighters here. Now I'm gonna put a hundred denars on my head because hey would be stupid not to do it. Okay, so let's fight. Uh oh. Not the best. Yes, get him. Well done, Jarl right chick. Yes. This isn't gonna work, is it? Whew. Oh, that was difficult. Victory is yours. Uh, tier 2, with 32 participants, 3 teams of 8 fighters each. Wow. Elaine and Catherine are still in it. Right check, still in it. Well, let's place another bet. Fight in the next round. Uh oh. Ah, oh, come on. That's just stupid. Our team split up. That's really, really dumb. Really dumb. Now everyone's going after me.
Okay, this isn't going very well. You have been eliminated from the tournament. Well, fine. Your Turio wins the list. Well, I have to say that it's not a very good strategy for your team to split up in two groups and attack two larger teams. I blame my team. Well, okay, so let's let's get out of here and let's go to Tyre and let's find those runaway farmers, for that matter. <laughs> here comes all the Jarls. Well, there's definitely a party who's been traveling here. Quest failed, bring back runaway serfs. Well, if, if they started running immediately, of course I can't catch them. What a stupid quest. Well, uh, whose quest was that then? Your Dirigun. Okay, where is he? He's not even here. Well. To tire them. Thank you for escorting me here, says Merck. 250 denars, 300 experience. Yes, I hope we shall meet. It was an honor to serve you, madam. Oh, it looks so noble. Oh, yeah, let's. When we're in Tyre, let's visit the tavern. See if there are any more companions for us. No, watchmen. Ah, Ramon, the slave trader. Unfortunately, we don't. Fortunately, I don't have any sl prisoners to sell. Do have a lot of horses. Could check with the guildmaster, I guess. Ah, oh, on foot. You must be joking. Do you happen to have a job for me? Uh, actually, I was looking for someone to deliver some wine. Tavern in Nara. Well, where the hell is Nara? Seven days. No, that doesn't sound like a good offer at all. Nara, where is that? Over there. Yeah, very glad I didn't take that mission. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Raise seven Nord veterans. To, where was this guy? Quinn. Okay, so let's go to Quinn and then to Fenada. And then let's go looking for fights. Fenada is down here, right? Yeah. Then let's go looking for fights and train these recruits. Look 
Knudar. Buy supplies from the peasants. Still have enough stuff, I think. Okay, go to the village center. Now I know what kind of a shady figure to look for. Someone hiding behind a building or a bush, like that guy there, for example. Nervous man. You should be nervous. Wow, this is pretty cool. This is a one-handed weapon with... Can I wield it with two? No. Wow, one-handed. Let's see how it works. Thrusting. Okay, I can't... Okay, so I can only thrust with it like this. If I don't have a shield on. I thought I could swing this. Hmm, then it's not so nice. Well, I don't have to capture this guy. I'm looking for a murderer by the name of you, Scarl the Fair. You fit his description, sir. I don't understand. I never kill anyone. I think you got the wrong man. Then drop your sword. If you're innocent, you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to your neighbors, and if they verify your story, I'll go on my way. I'm not going anywhere, friend. You're gonna have to fight for your silver today. No problem. I really just need your head anyway. Die, dog. Yes, we'll see about that. Probably just gonna run you over like a dog. Oh, you hide behind that wall. Yes. Not so fair now. Your relationship with Quinn deteriorated, really. But I don't care. Uh, so that was for... Given by King Ragnar, actually. Nice. So we should be in... Sargoth still. King of Swadia has declared war against Kurgit Canate. Swadia should probably be a bit more careful with their declarations of war. Yeah, King Ragnar is here. Join the feast. Jarl Knudar. Jarl Iria. Aiden. I don't remember what's his name. Well, says Merck, I wish to welcome you to my hall. About that task you give me. I found you, Scarl the Fair, hiding at Quinn and gave him his punishment. Nice. Thank you, says Merck, for removing this long festering thorn from my side. 300 denars. Take the money, my lord. Thank you. This is blood money. I can't accept it. Of course you can, says Mark. I must beg my leave. Jarl Gurlad, I think I failed your quest. Or maybe not. I don't remember what 
about the task you gave me. Uh, I don't remember. Whose quest it was? Dirigon, no, he wasn't there. Right? Nope. Okay, so let's go to Fenada and collect those taxes. Probably not gonna like us much for it, but... Oh, I leveled up. Level up our charisma. More hit points for us, I guess. Oh, yeah. Long hafted spiked mace is pretty useless. but I need that mace back. You can have a pole arm instead. So let's talk to these peasants. Collect taxes due to Jarl Logarson. As the party member with the highest trade skill, Catherine expects that collecting taxes from you will take two days. Well, start collecting. The people of Fenada are outraged at your demands and they cry it is as nothing more than extortion. They are getting very restless and they may react badly if you keep pressing them. Ignore them and continue. 